All right, it's challenge time. We are going to take what we did in our last video. So we have a mower that's turning in response to our code. And what we're gonna do either by yourself or with your partner, depending on how, how large our class is, you are going to build a second sub-assembly for the motor because you are going to integrate your second DC motor into this system. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay that there for a second. Um, what I want you to do is use the resources on page 163 and 164 in your book or the resources that are tagged below this video and I want you to come up with two different solutions. The first problem I want to propose to you to solve is to have your motor one turn on for a second clockwise and then your motor two turn on for a second clockwise. But at no point in time should both motors be spinning together. Okay, so I want you to alternate between the motors one on, one off, and then switch the other one on and the first one off. The second problem I want to pose to you is to have both motors turning at the same speed and direction. So have both motors hooked up and turning clockwise together and counterclockwise together. Okay, so however you choose to build your assembly, that's up to you. You can build a second sub-assembly or you can just extend this with a larger channel. Totally up to you. Um, but I do want you to get both of these working and then when you have your code, take a screenshot of your code and submit it on the assignment um, or through the channel, depending on what we sort of decide as a class and um, maybe start uploading your code to GitHub. Okay, so you can go ahead and look at that optional assignment that I posted and start working on that. Okay, so again, those tasks will be below the video. Have fun, give it a try.